Hello and welcome. In this video, we will download the closing prices of an asset, find the periodic daily returns for that asset, and graph them. This video is a quick reference video to be combined with future videos. For a more detailed explanation of the concepts presented here, please watch my video on understanding and calculating the periodic daily return of an asset. Let's download the closing prices of an asset, find the daily periodic returns for that asset, and graph them. Go to Yahoo Finance. Type in a ticker symbol into the window. For this example, I'm using GLD, the gold ETF. Click on Historical Prices on the left column. When the page loads, enter a time period. Common choices are one year or the entire life of the asset. Make sure daily is checked and click on Get Prices. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on Download the Spreadsheet. Open the download and delete all but the dates and the adjusted closing prices. Your Excel spreadsheet should look like this. In the cell to the right of the latest closing price, enter equals LN for natural log, open parentheses, click on the closing price for that day, backslash for divide, click on the closing price for the previous day, close parentheses and enter. That gives the periodic daily return for that day. Click on the cell again, click on the bottom right corner and then drag all the way down to the second to the last cell. This gives the periodic daily returns for all the previous days. With the periodic daily returns still highlighted, or highlight them again if necessary, click on Insert, Column, 2D Clustered Column Graph. So we have here a graph of the periodic daily returns. Let's add the corresponding dates as the x-axis. Click on the graph, right click, then click on Select Data. On the right hand side, click on Edit, click in the Access Label range, then highlight the corresponding dates, and then press OK. We now have a graph of the periodic daily returns for GLD. In the next video, we will sort the periodic daily returns into bins and then create a histogram. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.